Today, we're going to be showing you how you can build a habit and track it all within Todoist and their new extension in integration. We're going to dive into a little bit of a tour around it and everything you need to know about this application. Now, if you wanna find out more about Todoist, you can find our new tool finder application to dive a little bit deeper into it. And also you can check out Mike Vardy's course on Todoist that will optimize you for 2023. So let's dive into Todoist and its habit tracker. Okay, so here we are with Todoist. And firstly, let's show you how you can switch on this habit tracking ability in settings. So go to top right hand corner, press settings, go to integrations, and you'll be able to find it in the browse area. As you can see, I've got it installed and you can remove it at any time from here. Now, this is created by Todoist and naturally you can see some additional stuff like labels that's really for customizing, and we'll show you that in a moment. So if I had a task like journal, and I had it in for today, but I wanted to change a due date to every day, uh, you can see here that that now pops up, perfect. So what I can do to turn this into a tracking of a habit is go up to top, uh, more actions, and go to track habit. So you can see now it's tracking it as a habit and a few things happen. In the description, it comes up as a current streak of zero days and that you're tracking the habit from here. What's interesting is it gives you the timestamp in the comments, which is perfect for understanding when this tracking, this habit started and naturally um, how often it'll do it. This is sort of like built into it. So you won't necessarily see, you can see it from the preview, but not too much if you know what I mean. You'll, only indicate that this is a habit just through going into it and seeing there. Now this is really important. When I go ahead and tick this off, you'll see that the um, statistics update. Uh, what it will do is it will basically say that I've completed this uh, once, there you go, day one, and it will give a completion history down at the bottom. Uh, now you'll see that it's given it a label as well of streak. Now I can't go and demonstrate ticking it again because Todoist is very smart and <laughs> understands what a day is. So naturally, because today's a, the same day as today, it won't indicate it being a two day streak, if that makes sense. But if I did that tomorrow, I'll get two day streak and so on and so forth. So obviously this one will come up as two ticks, I think logically. And then what it will do is a bit like that football roster in the Premier League, where if you type in on Google, Arsenal, you can see the last five games. I believe that's how it's set up. There'll be an X when you've skipped a day, and naturally, that's quite a nice little addition. Now, something to note, you can actually do this, just going for demonstration purposes, with, um, with your subtasks. Apparently, you can turn them into habits as well. So that's naturally got its own habit underneath here. So that might be something you might want to set up with morning routine and have something that recurs every day, but say, so I could say every day, and have items below like brush teeth, maybe that's something that you need to do anyway, <laughs> um, and have in particular habits being tracked on all of them within here. So I've changed this one to morning routine. Um, let's put a nice, sun emoji so you can start to see my logic around this in how this could potentially help and we could say journal entry and track it as a habit so logically if i say oh bang 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 i've done them all for this day then they should all come up as one days let's see let's wait a moment and see if i click in it should they go you have a one day streak on this so if I tick this off, there we go. Perfect. So you could potentially have this set up. Uh, all the prioritization system still works if that's something you have set up in here. Um, and naturally, you can crack on with it. So if I go to tomorrow, see this journal entry, boom, I can see my morning routine. Maybe this is the, the hack and the way to do it. Um, so this is how to actually set up something like a morning routine that's consistent because you can go in and, and reclaim the subtasks that are being done. So that's just something you can do. You can set up reminders as well. But notably, the label, because this whole thing isn't a tracking of a habit, 
you obviously won't get a label here, but the label here will come up. So that doesn't really matter because you've got this one on a routine anyway. And this one isn't a routine because it's within subtasks of a, a recurring task. So it's absolutely fine. So that's quite a nice way to embed everything in one. Um, I actually didn't know that you could do all this, so sort of like an uh, on the trot um, demonstration of how this capability works. So a nice interesting addition from Todoist and something that you can access over in the settings area. Remember, you can now be able to understand what the labels are. So if you don't want those label streaks at all, or you want the default, you don't want to use, you want to use the default label streaks, then that's something you can do from here. Anyway, folks, a big, big thank you. Uh, make sure to check out Todoist on Toolfinder. And thank you very much for stopping by, folks. And I'll speak to you in a future video. Cheerio. Cheerio.